in this final video in the series, I'm going to show you how to go from this database that we have been building over the last few or four videos to something like this, which is a 126 book that's formatted and that's pretty much good to go. You could obviously go in, make some changes, add images, add a cover picture, add a table of contents, but for all intents and purposes, this book is like 90 to 95% done. So this is what I'm going to show you in this very quick video because we have all the work done now in our Airtable database. So over the last videos, we've gone from a or from looking at Reddit to get information about books that people might be interested in based on the comments that they have left on a thread, which looked something like this. So we came up with these different book titles with the button called the right book. When a person pressed that button, they would end up with something like this where we got the chapter names for that specific book and we also wrote the chapter outlines for each of these chapters so that was the second video in the third video we looked at the chapter details right here so we went from the chapter outline to creating the fully fleshed chapters one by one then in the last video we went from the chapter details let, let me open this up in the full view so we went from the chapter D this, which is this right here, which is one long string of text, and we went and created this HTML content. So we are now able to format this as we want. So in this video, we're just going to take this form of the text and essentially create this document that you see right here. Now, the thing is that we've been using N810 for this type of creation, for this type of book creation. When it comes to creating Google Docs, N810, struggles a bit when it comes to creating html formatted documents you can create text-based documents but it is difficult as far as i've found to create html content which is why for this last video i'm going to revert to make.com which is my favorite no code platform and it is the let's say the platform that i started working with many months ago so this is why i'm going to revert back to this platform and in order to make this happen Essentially, what I'm going to do is go to my make.com account here. I'm just going to duplicate this and create a new workflow. And as you can see here, it is a very simple type of workflow. There are just three modules involved in it. And all this takes is we're looking at our table. We're combining all the documents or the text together. And then we're creating the Google document in HTML format. So pretty straightforward, pretty easy to figure out and yeah let's just create that so we're going to our table we're going to search for records and obviously you can always call this through a webhook so if you want this to be like one step that starts from the beginning and keeps going until you get that final pdf just by you pressing that button that i showed you right here you can also do that so this main.com scenario can be called through a webhook so that's kind of the ultimate automation type of situation. So I'm just going to choose my base, which is my NA10 book YouTube. Then I'm going to put in these settings. So I'm going to choose my table. So this is the book I'm working with. I'm going to grab all the information here. For the formula, I'm just going to leave that empty. What is important here is that we're going to sort what we're going to get. So we're going to sort based on the field which is called chapter name, and we're going to go in ascending order. So get the chapters from 1 to 10. If you have more than chapters, you can just remove that. So let's save that. And if we were to run this, we should get 10 different bundles based on our chapter. So each of these is a different chapter in our book. We have the chapter name, the formatted text, and pretty much that's all we need. So then all we need to do is go to text aggregator, and we're just going to combine the information in the formatted text, which already has the H2 for each chapter. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if we combine that, that should give us a long S type of string output, which is all the contents of the book combined together. So then the final part would be to go to our Google Docs. And we're going to create a document. We choose our connection, we give the book a name, which in our case will be from, uh, so this should be 
oh yeah, of course this can't be accessed here. So pretty different ways how you could do this. So let's say that we have this information right here, right? We have the table name. What we don't have here is the table. So we have the table ID, we don't have the table name. So we could technically add a module here called Airtable uh, records others. Yeah, probably would need to use the make an API call and we'd get the table name for the specific table matching that ID. So it is one step we could do. In my case, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm just going to hard code the name from here. And I'm just going to paste in the content right there. I'm going to choose the location. So I'm just going to put this slash so it's in the root directly. And that should be pretty much it. So over here, this should give us the whole book in Google Doc format. So let's run this. And in a few seconds, we should get a web view link, which we can now use. So we get the web view link here. And let's open this up and look at what we have. So we have the whole book here with the table of contents on the left. We have 47,000 words, 88 pages. So I can just very quickly format that. And that's pretty much it. 126 page book that is ready to go. So we can then, as I said earlier, add a cover page at a table of contents if I wanted to. So I know I could go here and yep, insert table of contents. So we get all that. And then we could have a cover page with the title, obviously. So I think it's important to make it look good. Uh, so this can be an H1. We could go center, maybe increase the format a bit. We could generate an image. So whether you do it in Dali 3 or Flux or anything like that. So just for uh, the sake of this demo, let's just quickly generate an image for Edbop titled that. And yeah, that should be pretty much it. In a second, we'll have everything we need to get the PDF. So so it is in for this image to generate. Uh, yeah, let's say we're going to go with that. So we can paste that in there. Okay, it's unsupported. Uh, so webp dtj tag. So let's download that there. Convert to JPG. So if I just copy this, go here and paste that in. Let's pull this up. So we have the table of contents there. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So now I can just file download this as a PDF. And we're good to go. 130 pages. We could obviously add an image for each chapter, but yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of creating a book through a sequence of automations that we have been following step by step until we get to this final output PDF that we see right here. So let me know if you have any questions based on this series. Let me know if you find it useful. In the meantime, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. And check out the links in the description for information on how I can help you with AI and automation in your business. I'll speak to you soon.